so in this lecture what we are going to do is that we are going to deploy a container image in our local kubernetes cluster so we have docker desktop running and we have also our kubernetes cluster running what we have is that we have the redwine image in our local machine we also have pushed the redwine image into the docker hub so the first step that we must do in pushing the image to the local Kubernetes cluster is to write a YAML file. We create two YAML files, rather one which has a deployment section as well as a service section. So let's look at it in detail. So this is the whole uh, YAML file. It has a deployment section and it has got a service section. We will dissect the deployment section as well as the service section will explain part of it part by part in detail and then we will deploy the YML into our local Kubernetes cluster. So let's jump in and do it in detail. So this is the deployment file. It has got the deployment. It has got a name. It has got an app name. Okay. Now <coughs> it has got replica 3 which means when it deploys it will create three pods how will it know which pod to create by means of the match labels this match label but must match the label of the pod template here what is the pod specification the name is wine image and the image is in docker.io slash amberish g slash redwine v1 note here i have already pushed it here if you go here into this image here it is amberish g redwine and it has got a tag of v1 and the os is linux so that's about it so so let's so since we have understood this let's go on and try to explain also the service so the service will be a layer on top of the pods and how will it know which pods to do by means of the selector you see the selector is wine here and the pod template has also wine so it is selecting out here so what we will do is that we will run and see of how it is uh, we can so we clear it and we say cube ctl apply minus f red wine local dot y a m l fantastic it has created the deployment as well as a service so we'll do a cube ctl get pods oh it is creating now let's wait for some time because you must see that this does not have the docker image from the docker hub Maybe it is pulling it and it is taking some time. So let's uh, wait for some time and then look at it once more. Wow, it is running now. So let us see whether this also, yes, you are finding it here. Amber is G red wine has already come in. So now you can also see the service. Cube CTL get service. So I have the load balancer service, the external IP is localhost and 8501. So let's jump in and see whether we are okay or not. And voila, it is a predict red wine quality. It is working fine. So a job well done. But now what we'll do, let's let's delete everything and let's let's see whether our concepts were correct. Cube CTL delete deploy wine deploy so we delete this thing we also do a cube ctl delete service red wine service everything is deleted now let's play around with these concepts now here you have the label right this label refers to the label of the template. Now let's change it and then what happens? Let's see, we make a mistake. We make it wine bad. Okay, now let's deploy it and see 
whether it will work fine or not. Just before we see that everything is okay or not, just let's check that whether any containers are running or not. So these have exited. Maybe it will take some time to... Oh, it's gone now. There are no containers running. Okay, now let's um, go back and we have made this change in the YML file which you can see wine bad, right? So now let's deploy it again and see whether there would be an error or not. So let's run it. kubectl. Uh, we can just, yes. You see that the red wine service was created, but this guy failed because it did not find the appropriate level. So you see that our concept was correct. So we again change it back. Okay. And now what we can change is we can deploy it once more. Now it is done. So let's again see whether it's running or not. Get pods. We have three running. That is very good. And now we again see that uh, our service. Yes, it is local host again and 8501. So local host 8501. So it's running again. So that's fine. Everything is fine. So, so you see we cleared our concepts about this. Again, let's make another mistake. Let's go back here and make this as a different level and see what happens. Okay. So here, we go back again and then do a kubectl apply this. Okay. Now you see that even though I have made a mistake, it has deployed the service. Okay. Let's see whether what is there any problem or not. So kubectl get pods again. So it is still running. kubectl get service. Okay, it is still there. But will it actually run? So let's see. You see this is not working. Why? Because we made this mistake. We made this mistake out here. We made it wine bad. So this is not correct. So this is how we solidify our concepts by making mistakes, by doing the right thing so that you know exactly what you are doing. So in summary, what we have done is that we have made this YML file, we have made a deployment, we have made a replica, we have made an image, we have made all these things together. So that's about it from our side. So thank you. Hope you liked it. Bye.